Welcome to Look Smarter Than You Are with Oracle S-Based Block Storage. S-Based Custom Defined Functions Explained. Before we talk about Custom Defined Functions, we first have to talk about the S-Based Calculator Engine. It's available for block storage and hybrid aggregation applications. The Block Storage Calculator Engine is known for having excellent calculation capabilities. There are 160 built-in functions to meet all of your needs. Or do they? When unique challenges arise and the calculator engine doesn't allow us to do what we need to do, where do we turn? Custom defined functions are the answer. A custom defined function, or CDF, is a Java class written so that it can interact with the S-based calculator. Data, metadata, or both can be passed from the calculator to the CDF. Data or metadata can then be calculated in Java and return to the calculator so that your calculation can continue. The custom defined function can call any outside Java process. This opens up a world of possibilities using Java in your calculations. You could interact with the server operating system, submit Maxell statements dynamically from inside of a calculation, change substitution variables on your SBase server dynamically, or even fetch data from the internet. To install a custom defined function, they first must be packaged into a Java archive, also known as a jar file. The jar file is then placed on the S-Base server in the Oracle middleware EPM System 11 R1 products S-Base S-Base server Java UDF directory. Next, we grant permissions using the udf.policy file. It must be updated to give the permissions so that S-Base can execute the Java code. We add the code to the end of the file. Then, we registered the custom defined function in S-Base administration services. This enables us to call the custom defined function just like a typical S-Base calculator function. When you call a custom defined function, you have two options. First, you could call it like a typical S-Base calculator function. The CDF must be placed inside of a calc member block. The command then loops and runs against all blocks for that member block. So you can use a fix outside of the member block to limit the scope of your CDF. Secondly, you could use a run Java command. Run Java commands execute once and call the custom defined function code directly. It does not require the code to be registered in S-Base administration services. 